Okay, so here we have um, this shape. It looks like it has eight sides, I think. Yeah, octagons, a big, big octagon, eight sides. I don't know why it has that green circle around it, but basically it's, a, it's an octagon kind of shape with a green circle around it. And the question they're being asked, this, now we're talking about symmetry. And they're saying, determine the number of lines of symmetry in the figures. I don't know why it says below, it's above, it's not below. Um, I get these off the internet. Professors contribute all these questions and sometimes they mistype, I have to fix them. Show your thinking by drawing the lines. All right, so what, what are we talking about? Well, I put into the notes for you, here we go. Here's the exam one notes. Uh, that are uh, at the top of uh, module, uh, the unit one module. So right at the top of the unit one module, the exam one notes, I'm going to be updating those day by day. They're growing, getting bigger. And so I've added to those for you down here at the bottom, lines of symmetry and also angles of rotation symmetry. So I've added that. Let me, let me pop that in here for you. And so... Symmetry, and then down here I put the angle. Okay, so anyway, <clears throat> lines of symmetry. <clears throat> so what are those? <clears throat> those are lines that fold the shape in half. So like for a square, you can have this line right down the middle that cuts it in half. Here's another line, cuts it in half. One, two, and then this diagonal cuts it in half and that that So that has four lines of symmetry, four lines that cut the square in half, perfectly in half. How about a rectangle? One, two, cut it in half. Uh, rhombus, one, two. Kite, one. Isosceles trapezoid, one. Regular trapezoid, none. And then a parallelogram, there's none. No lines that cut it exactly in half. And equilateral triangle has three lines they cut it exactly in half. And then an isosceles triangle, which means two equal sides, like an isosceles trapezoid has two equal sides. These are equal sides. Isosceles triangle has two equal sides. This line cuts it in half, exactly. <clears throat> so lines of symmetry are lines that cut a shape exactly in half. Exactly in half. Okay. So then let's go back up to our diagram. How many lines of symmetry on this eight-sided shape cut it exactly in half? Well, we I'll draw them right on there for you. First off, there's the lines that are already there, huh? Like this line. That's one. And uh, this line right here. That's two. And this line right here. Three. And then this line right here. Four. So there's the four lines that are already there. We don't. We don't count these back sides because this is the back side of that line. And this is the back side of that line. This is the back side of that line. This is the back side of that line. Right? So there's four different lines, but that's not all, huh? There's other ones, right? You can see it right on the diagram. In between each, um, in between each triangle? Right, exactly. Right down the middle of each triangle, huh? It's going to be like this one right here. Yeah. So that's uh, line number five. And then right down the middle of this triangle. And it's line number six. And right down the middle of those triangles, number seven. You guys have got it, right? And then right down the middle of these triangles, line number eight. Yeah, so good job. So there's eight lines all together. Makes sense. It's an eight sided shape. So we have eight lines of symmetry on that shape. We good there? Making good sense? Okay, now we're gonna move on. Part B is asking us about the rotational symmetry. Like how many angles can we, you know, turn and have it be back on so let, me, let me show you from the notes. 
So here's from the exam one notes at the top of the unit one module. I'm talking, I've given you a little picture off the internet for a rotational symmetry. <clears throat> so what is rotational symmetry? A shape has rotational symmetry. By the way, sim means same, whatever sim. So, you know, like a, a line of symmetry is a line that cuts it so it's the same on the two sides of the line, cuts it in half. So it's the same on the two sides of the line. Well, an angle of rotational symmetries is, is the same idea. If you rotate it, it looks the same when you're done. Symmetry means same. So, so for example, with this um, equilateral triangle, if, I, if this point rotates up to here, it, it looks the same when you're done, doesn't it? If that bottom left corner goes up to the top, it, it looks the same. Or if that bottom left corner goes all the way over to here, it looks the same. Well, how far, how far is that? Well, so if this goes up to here, that's 120. How, how do we know? Well, because that's one third of the way around. They took 100, oh, oops, sorry, they didn't do that. They, um, they took 360 degrees, which is all the way around. And they divided by three, which is 120 degrees. So they said, okay, so one third of the way around, right? All the way around divided by three, one third of the way around, this is one third of the way around. One third of the way around is 120 degrees. So um, therefore, if you turn this triangle, this dot right here goes all the way up to there, that's going to be 120 degree angle because that's one third of the way around. And it's going to look the same when you do that. It's, it's, a, it's an angle of symmetry, rotation. Now, also, if you turned from this dot all the way to there and there, in other words, let me just do it in one fell swoop. From here all the way to there, what's that going to be? Well, 240, isn't it? Because it's two 120s. And if you do that, it'll be back unto itself. It'll look the same. Now, you might say, yeah, yeah, but you could even do one more, Mr. Heron. You could go from here and then go one, two, all the way back to there. Well, yeah, that's, that's all the way around, notice. That's a complete circle. That's 360 degrees. Of course, any shape will do that, any shape, right? If you take yourself and turn 360 degrees, you'll be, you'll be right back the way you started. So we, we never count 360 degrees because every shape does that. Of course, if we turn something all the way around, of course, it looks the same when we're done. That one's kind of obvious. We don't count the 360. But what we're interested in is angles less than 360. That's why it says right here, rotation less than 360. Because, of course, 360, anything will look the same if you rotate all the way around. But what we're interested in, is there an angle less than 360 that you can turn through? And when you're done, it'll look the same, symmetry same. So how about for the, for the square here? For the square, you could take this point and you could rotate it down to this point, right? So this point goes to there. That's one fourth of all the way around. So they took 360 and divide by four and they got 90. So that's 90 degrees. But then you could, of course, do two of those down to here. Two 90s would be 180. That's why they're saying that's 180. And three of those is 270. And then again, 360, we don't actually, even though they're writing it here, we don't count 360 as an actual answer. Then how about for this pentagon here? So same kind of thing. This point right here could rotate to that point right there. That's one fifth of all the way around. So it's 360 divided by five, which is 72 degrees. Um, or you could go from back here all the way to there, which is two of those. So it's 72 plus 72, 144. So you see how you just take the answer 72, and then you just keep adding another 72, 144, then add another 72, and you get the 216. So you just find out the angle, and then you just keep adding that angle because you can do another one of those sections and it'll be back unto itself. 
So that's the deal. Let's go back and try it for number six here. So I'm going to go back to number six. I'm going to erase all my lines of symmetry, my eight lines of symmetry. And I'm going to grab this shape and I'm going to rotate it. Um, right here. There we go. All right. So there it is. So I'm going to rotate it until it comes back unto itself. So here we go. Oops, not what I meant to do. <laughs> there. So I rotated it just a little bit, and it's back unto itself. See how it looks the same? But you, but you know I've moved it. The question is. How far have I moved it, right? How far did I, I just rotated it a little bit and it looks the same. So the question is, how far did I rotate? Well, this, um, this dot, oops, sorry, this dot right here in the middle basically went to right there. You could go right or left. It doesn't matter which way you turn it. It basically went to right there, right? Let me, uh, let me change the colors to make it more obvious. So, yeah, it went, it went to right there. So it's right there. So there now. Right, so I've turned it. I don't, I don't know if I'm helping or I'm not sure I'm helping a lot. This dot went right there. This dot went right there. How about that? So this went right to there. That's probably better, right? See what happened there? So how, how far is that? Well, how many of those all the way around? So that'd be one jump, two jumps, three jumps, four, I think you know, five, six, seven, and then back, back again, eight. So there's eight of those jumps all the way around. So take all the way around, divided by eight, you get... 45. So each of those turns is 45 degrees, isn't it? Each of those turns is another 45 degrees. So the first jump is 45 degrees. This is also 45, 45, etc. So then if you want to know, okay, so, so what are the angles of rotation symmetry? The first one is 45 degrees, right? If you turn that shape 45 degrees, it will be back unto itself. But that's not all, is it? That's not all. If you turn the shape um, another 45, so, so the answer is we basically keep adding 45 degrees. We just keep adding 45 degrees. So another 45 would be 90. Meaning if you took this shape and you went all the way down to here. If you turned it all the way down to there, which is 45 and 45, 90, it would be back unto itself again, wouldn't it? Et cetera. You just keep adding, so use your calculator, just add another 45, add another 45, add another 45, another 45, another 45. And the last one would be, 360, but don't write that one down. We don't write down the 360 because that one's obvious. Any shape you turn all the way around, of course, will look the same. We don't count that. We're interested in angles less than 360 that you can turn it and it'll look the same. Symmetry angles less than 360. So don't list the 360. Stop at the 315. So there would actually be what? Seven answers? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, seven answers because there's, you know, it's an eight-sided object and any of the seven angles less than 360 is listed as an angle of rotation symmetry. So there we go. We have lines of symmetry. This eight-sided uh, perfect octagon has eight lines of symmetry and seven angles, symmetry angles, starting at 45 and just keep adding 45.